Free Sculpture is an exhibition in the English gardens of Regent's Park. Twelve amazing international artists brought together here in this beautiful space in London. It's free and open to the public, so anybody in London can come to see this exhibition. The number of sculptures in the exhibition have been created either sort of during lockdown or since the end of lockdown in response to free sculpture happening. I've cited the exhibition, so there are really three anchor points. The first is at the entrance with Gavin Turp's large door, uh, which literally is a door that welcomes you into the sculpture park. It's nearly four metres tall. And then at the ends of important pathways, we have Arne Quince's work at over eight metres tall and Calliope Lemos's plat at six metres tall. So these are, these are kind of anchor points. And then in and amongst that journey, we have smaller works, works which engage you, which pull you into their intimacy, which maybe confound you, which I hope mesmerise you. And I hope that as people make this journey through free sculpture, they find work which intrigue them and give them great joy. One of the aspects of this year's display are a number of artists for whom the sensation of touch is really, really vital. You see, you see it in the David Altmaid sculpture where a white figure is literally creating themselves out of the material from which they're made. And also in Rebecca Warren's work, which is this very tender, rather awkward, but somehow elegant and monumental work made originally in clay, which is then cast and painted in these very, very beautiful, delicate colours. And Eric Fischel's work, the torso of a woman, twisting on her plinth, and you see in her body a great tenderness, um, a torsion and muscularity and a, and a great sensuality. Eric Fischel talks about how the hand leads the eye in forming sculpture, and that's something that's very, very pertinent to that sculpture and to many others. In the work of Lebena Himid and Kelliopi Lemos, these are artists who really put women centre stage in their work. They're talking about representation, they're talking about identity, and they're talking about resilience and resistance. In the work of Richard Long and Patrick Goddard and Arnie Quinns, we see artists who are examining our relationship to the natural world. Another work which connects with nature is Gian Pietro Carlesso's sculpture, Behind Me. Um, a really beautiful work is 2.7 metres high and it's made from a single piece of cedar of Lebanon. That's really extraordinary. He's waited until this moment to work into the sculpture to remove its core, which is important because if you have a damp core with a dryer outside, it will crack and bend, to create this really elegant, wonderful sculpture. We've come through an exceptional time where many of us have realised just how vital our relationship to the natural world is for our well-being and to be able to come to this place and experience these sculptures in this landscape and it's really a very exceptional landscape is something that really feeds our soul and it's here for absolutely everybody to enjoy.